What was that? A raven? Rather a common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area. And I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect your skills, my friend. It will take them some time, nonetheless. So, perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake. Barely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. Now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? So, think you've set a nice little trap for me? Sorry. Wanna get me to confess? Gonna have to try harder. <laughs> I love a challenge. In that case, my ears are cocked. What must I do? <sighs> How about you get the ball rolling? Reveal one of your secrets. Vampires, intriguing creatures, must lead fascinating lives. Anything in particular interest you? Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible. As my presence proves, but, but, I've heard you too had quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. For a bit, but Triss helped me get it back. Actually pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. We vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living eye of vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, death is permanent. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate. Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. Sorry. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity is a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. Gotta ask you the big question, one everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? Hmm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. If not for Detlef, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. Can't have been alive then. Sheesh, experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's, it's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very true. One's outlook can indeed change much. Curious what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, at first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovering. As it is, I still not recovered completely. 
Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbour's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, a Dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Back then, yeah. But we parted again soon after. All right, give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? See, Regis. Doubt I'd know how to be anything else. Ever tried? See, you're determined to get an answer, to find out if I like being a witcher. Just refuse to ask directly, as always. I like being on the path. I like picking up a lead, a trail. I like the tension right before a fight. And nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast. Even gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah, not something I think about much, but I like being a witcher. Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. Still no sign of your winged friend. Sure it understood what you wanted? Dead certain. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon, don't doubt that for a moment. 